So we saw till now that how do we insert an element at the front of the linked list or the singly linked list. So we are talking about singly linked list again and again. So we have another thing called doubly linked list. So we will talk about that. So whenever generally when we say linked list, we mean singly linked list. But just to specify it, I have written singly linked list. So now let's see how do we insert an element at the end of the linked list. So we have our node here. This is a class node in which we have two items. We have data which will obviously contain the data that we have to store and we have next. The next is going to store the reference of the next object. So here we have this as node. This is node 1 let's say. This is node 2. So let's say this is data and this is next and the next will be pointing to the next node which is node 2 here. So this is the use case of next and then we have a constructor which is used to initialize the newly created objects. We know that there is a head variable that points to the first node of the linked list. So linked list exists somewhere in the memory. How do we know that where is it existing? So this head variable is the one which keeps track of the first node of this particular linked list. So anytime we will have the head variable with us. Now the thing is that we just have the head. We have to insert a node here, right? So let's say I have to store 10. Now how do I do that? So for storing 10 here, first we need to reach to the end node. So first task is reach end node or let's say last node. So now let's say I keep a new temp, let's say this is temp variable which is pointing to the last uh, node. So this is, we'll see that how this temp has come to the last node. This particular thing, reach last, uh, last node, will take care that this temp comes to the last node. Now let's say we have a temp which is pointing to the last node. Now what we have to do is that in using this temp, we have to make sure that the next of this particular node now points to this particular newly created node. So we have to reach na last node, we have to create new node and we have to update next of last node. So we have these three steps that we have to do in order to insert an element at the end of linked list. So Let's see how do we go on to reach the last node first. So for reaching the last node, we have head with us. So we will have to iterate through all the nodes. So how do I know that I have reached the last node? So we know that the next of last node points to null. So the moment we reach a node whose next is null, we know we have reached the last node. So let's say we have a new object variable temp. So now temp is initially is initialized with head. So now we have both temp and head pointing to the first node. So let's say we have temp also and head also pointing to the first node. So we will use this temp to iterate through this particular list and reach the end node. Now you might be wondering that why are we using a new node or for that matter a new node variable because if we update our head. So let's say I update my head to point to this particular last node. So if I change my head to point to this particular last node, then we will lose reference to this particular complete list. So we just have reference to this particular node. How will we have reference to these particular stuffs? So we always have to make sure whenever we are writing code for linked list that we do not lose reference to this first particular node unless the problem st statement is likewise. So we have to make sure that head is pointing to this particular node and it is not modified incorrectly in our code. So that's why we will have a new variable temp which is having the task of reaching to the end and storing this particular node. So we have to do that. So what we will do is we will start a loop. So I have written the code here. Let's say what I am writing. So as I said that for knowing that this node is the last node, we will always check that the next of this node is null or not. So what we will do is we will start a while loop it checks that whether temp.next is null or not. If it is null, the loop will break. So initially my temp is here. It checks whether temp.next is null or not. So it's not. So this condition becomes true. Now our temp gets updated to the next node. So now my temp is pointing to this particular node. So my no temp is here. We again do the same thing while temp.next not equal to null. 
which is the case this condition becomes true we come here now my temp is pointing to this particular node similarly we will do the iteration again my temp will point to this particular node we again check whether its next is null no, that is not the case now we come here so now the temp comes here and we check that whether temp dot next is equal to null or not which is the case the next of this particular node is null so this loop will break and the temp will keep pointing to this particular node now we are at the last node which we wanted the first thing so this is the first thing that we have to do the second thing we have to do is let's say create a new node so we can even create new node beforehand but now, now let's say i create a new node node new node let's say i have to insert the data 10 so a new node gets created so this new node is created somewhere in the memory right so let's say it is 10 the next is null so it is created somewhere in the memory what we have to do now is that we have to update next of this particular node this particular node to point to this node so how do i do that i simply do temp dot next is equal to new node so after we do this this next starts pointing to this particular node so now my linked list is updated we have one more node after this particular linked list which is this particular node so now let's see the complete code in java that how do we do this so what we did till now we did insert at beginning so we have already done insertion at beginning for two times so let's say i have this linked list already with me which is let's say five and eight this is already with me now let's say i have to insert let's say one more node here 10 so what will i do i will make a call list dot insert at end 10 so here we obviously are getting error because we don't have this function defined yet so let's go on to link list dot java and define or that particular method so this we have already defined while we were talking about insert at beginning now let's define a new method so let's say i create a new node so this data is the one that is getting passed from this main.java so this is 10 here so now this data is 10 so a new node is created whose data is 10 so we have already created new node now what we do need to do is we need to go at the end of the list so let's do that so what we did we had a new object variable temp node we initialize this with head okay so we have one condition we will talk about let's first consider that our list is not empty there could be a situation where list is empty so right now we are checking for this particular condition so let's say our list is not empty let's write code for this so what we do is that we try and reach at the end of the list so we do while temp node dot next not equal to null temp node is equal to temp node dot next okay so now i have reached to the end of the list what we have to do now is we have to update the links so how will i update the link so what we have to do is we have to do temp node dot next is equal to new node yeah so now let's try and see dry run this code and see that is it working fine so what we did from main dot java we called insert at end the data that we passed was 10 so now what happens in the very first go a new node gets created so this new node gets created with data 10 somewhere in the memory okay so next we have to do is we have to have a temp node which is initially pointing to head so both are temp node so let's say this is head both are temp node and head is pointing to this particular node now so i somehow have to make this temp node point to the end of the list which is this particular node so i start iterating i check whether temp node not next is not equal to null which is the case this particular condition is true so temp node gets updated so now my temp node starts pointing to so this link is broken temp node starts pointing to this particular node now i again check whether temp node dot next is null which is the case this particular while loop gets broken now we have our temp node pointing to this particular node 
what we have to do now is this new node which is lying somewhere in the memory we have to update next of this particular node to point to this particular newly created node so we are doing this using temp node dot next is equal to new node so now my updated list is something like this we have 5 8 10 in a linked list and obviously next of this is pointing to null so here we have assumed that our list is not going to be empty what if our list is empty so we have to whenever we are doing the insertion we have to take care of that situation as well so you must be wondering why we haven't take this part that particular condition in insert at beginning because here what we are doing is we are just doing new node dot next equal to head so even if head is null that is not going to make much difference here this code will work but here we will have to take care of that particular situation so let's say i forget to put that particular condition of an empty list what will happen so here we are doing temp node is equal to head so our temp node is equal to null initially now here what we are doing temp node dot next not equal to null so let's see what happens if my head is null so let's say i just remove this two and i run my code so as you can see that you get null pointer exception in link list 29 which is this particular case we are trying to access dot next of an object which is null so we will get null pointer exception so we always have to make sure that we are checking that my list is empty or not so what do we do we check that if head is equal to null then we simply update our head as new node we don't have to do anything else if that is not the case then we have this else fine so let's run this again and see that whether we have come up with this null pointer exception or not so now my code is working fine so we, i haven't got any exception so let's see that okay not getting an exception is one thing another thing is that is this thing correct or not so let's run this so we have let's say initially an empty list so what happens i check if head is equal to equal to null so we have new node created somewhere in memory we just check if head is null or not so initially if our head is empty if our list is empty then we simply will do nothing but update our head to point to this particular node so again i'm repeating whenever you are writing your code make sure that what are the conditions that could happen that what if list is empty so how do i handle that particular situation that has to be done so that was about inserting a node at the end of the list so now the question is we have done the insertion if we have to talk about the time complexity what is the time complexity so in this case for inserting a node at the end we obviously have to traverse through the complete list to reach at the end so the traversal is going to take so this complete while loop is going to take o of n time so the time complexity for inserting a node at the end is going to be o of n for inserting at the beginning it's always going to be o of 1 because we don't have to traverse the complete list now let's see how do we insert nodes in between the two nodes